These pillars were uh, made way back when. There's artifacts of, they, these need work and other things, but I have, my responsibility was this section that was torn out. And they all are different measurements and the type of stone that they are creates optical illusions of them not being totally square, which they're probably not because the measurements are different on every single one of them. The space from the actual header over is different. The amount from the header to the bottom of it is different on every one. But if you look down through there, you can see um, what happened to this wall and its repairs and the pillar, which um, lines all up with the spouting again. And then the ceiling, which just needs quarter round put on, which is already painted. Uh, is a beadboard replica of the time period, which I even have on my own personal house. So um, once it's uh, finished up on the border around the edge, then that'll be complete. So based off of that, um, if you look down this whole side, if you walk out there and look down this side at all the pillars in a line, they are at a point to where they need to be. There's they couldn't be elevated or moved much more. They were taken apart just to build, to get it to where it's where it needs to be to line up with the next pillar and then this top rail, which needs to be anchored back down on that last piece there. So that's how a historical restoration job is done with something that's just not out there. You just, you just don't get it. Uh, this door right here um, is amazing. It took, um, uh, probably in excess of 40 gallons of material to strip it and then do the cove. And then uh, also found out that the, uh, everything was brass. The lock assembly was from Europe from one of the first lock assemblies. And it, it's, um, I actually found components to rebuild it and make it functional and it works. But uh, that lion's head's, uh, not lion's head, it looks like a wolf head. Um, that's about four and a half pounds of brass, which is kind of intriguing in its own right. So, I mean, it's a real, but to get that door back to where it is, I had to strip it and then repin and redo it to get it all back because it's pegged. You can see the pegs in the door itself um, where they're located. So it took a lot of you know, disassembly after it was stripped and then it's all hand rubbed with oil stain to get the full effect of what's going on with it. So that's pretty much kind of how we do the front porch. Very quick assessment here, but my God, the time it took to do it, it's not. Tuck pointing brick and two coats of oil primer and two coats of paint. This is the wall with all the reconstructive work done to it. And there's where that pay window that's inside that room goes underneath that sill right there. And that time period, that's where it is. We'll walk in and take a quick look at some of that. But the bay window goes right here, it mounts right here. That was uh, about eight pieces when I got it and rebuilt it back to, even left some of the original paint on in a couple of spots, so. Um, but as you go around the house, the whole house received the same policy, power washing, uh, tuck pointing, Two coats of oil primer, uh, two coats of finished paint, and uh, it was a thirsty animal. It needed a lot of work done to it. And uh, the shed isn't part of the works, just so you're looking and wondering. Um, it's at a point to where it is, and it's another phase of actual work that could be done. So we gotta discount that, but 
some work was done on it in areas where there was brick missing and that was replaced and, and put back together. But as far as a full restoration, that wasn't part of the job. So that, that's something that can happen later, but pretty unique in its own right. Um, there's all the bay windows. Um, pretty nice setup and that's the master bedroom upstairs. We can um, go around to the porch and go upstairs to take a look and go through the first floor and second floor arrangements. If you wanna see uh, what, what it takes in a couple of years time to, to make something back the way it was, not just make it back, but make it back to the way it was with the original authentic materials. Storm doors on. Uh, retrofitted to get to the point where they work. Um, the porch had to be pretty much demoed, new soft work was made for the joints, they were routed out, uh, and then now it's become a summer winter kickoff room to take the panels off and it's got screen behind it. And the entire house, again, um, multi coats primer, multi coats paint. So now we can walk inside and you can see another door that was painstaking and had to be disassembled and, and re oil rubbed and uh, matched up to the existing. Uh, there's all kinds of very ornate processes on the door which weren't even observable because of the paint that was there. So by the time it was all said and done, found a lot more intimacy in it than I could ever imagine. Um, so we can walk in and take a look at that as we go through the doorway and look at the matching colors and everything. And uh, has a stone area. And open the screen door and take a look at the door that was redone. Um, this had gold leaf on it. Um, those were broke, had to be repaired. This was the original color of the wood. Um, once cleaned all the smoke off and everything, this is the. Matching color of hand rubbing and oiling it up and all this artifact wasn't even noticeable. It was so full of paint. Um, uh, both these doors consumed about 40 gallons of stripper and a lot of sanding to get them and then redoing the jam configuration with new hinges. So you know, that's, that's where that was. But uh, now you come in and see a um, Kitchen that's basically been revamped. Um, it um, has a pecan hickory cabinets, uh, the top caliber, um, which were an upgrade from the original. The island and the fan and, and this granite was all upgrades on the countertops. Um, all this base and everything around the doors and windows had to be hand created uh, based off of just the fact that um, I had a piece of this and a piece of that that was here and that's all I had to go by. And so in that perspective, there's what you got. The original back to four panel doors, a bathroom that's now really a bathroom. Um, that's all the uh, reality point from what it used to be and what it is now with the shower that's in there and the tile was an upgrade also so um, some upgrades but they were they were upgrades to to manifest a more modern ability all the registers and ducts cleaning is done this is a wooden one i had to rebuild it um, multiple hours in doing that all the others were Media blasted and painted. There's a few that the paint needs another coat. All the floors were uh, replaced with antique lumber. 
in areas where it had to be replaced and uh, sanded and uh, perfectly done um, to facilitate the blend of what, what's going on in the house. But back to every doorway, every window is the same now. Uh, lots of hand-made things. This is a walnut and human beam. Um, put on the sawmill, cut off the size I needed for the actual mantle and then took the sides I cut off to make the two legs go all the way down to their sister so they're identical grain everything's totally the same on those which is uh, unique in its own way they're even turned in a direction so that they're stuck on together and they look like one piece with the character of its own there you go that's how you do that um, yeah, all the base trim, everything done, um, the mahogany door. Then, this was the digital Im imaging process. All this was on the steps, but it was so vague and had worn so badly that we got a digital Im imaging process to tell us, make sure what we've seen is what it was, the colors that it was. Um, and then redid every single one of those. Um, so there's a lot of hand artistry went on to get it back to exactly where it needed to be. In this room here, we had ceilings with uh, charred beams, uh, smoke primarily. Some had to be retrofitted, um, some additional work and now we put plaster between them um, and what a savings and what an aesthetic thing because uh, to put a ceiling back up there there's so much deviation in an older property a couple hundred years old this threshold had to be totally placed this had to be media plastic you couldn't even tell what was here um, these beams same thing had to be media blasted like those to get everything back to exactly where it needed to be. Um, this is the hay window that we're out on the porch. I said goes outside that window right below it. There's some of the original paint. I left a little bit on after protecting it, and this will mount underneath the window like that. And then today, that's where the workers have to come to get paid is up that window. So. That, that's going to be mounted here soon. A um, couple items, this has to be hung. Uh, that has to be stuck into the opening that's in front of. And then we'll just take a quick shot up here to look at all of the floors were redone to place boards when needed, as needed. Um, chair rail on the exterior walls, um, the value of having something like this is unbelievable. Some pioneer days, but it's back to where it's better than what it was during the pioneer days. Of course, in all these real old houses, you get small closets, um, which is normal. So we're we're kind of forced with that menu. They are small, but there is a rail in there, the hanging clothes on, and a couple shelves. So, and they latch internally uh, together on the tops and the bottoms. So I just left them kind of open so that you can see what was happening there. The old hardware is still there for the latching components and all that. A um, couple changes we had to do. Um, I got access there to get up into review the high back um, and an extension here for some wall pipes that need to be placed and put in place. And like I said, the chair rail follows the exterior walls uh, in these rooms. Um, floor here, again, redone. Um, these were part of the original there, clean. One more cleaning process and then these could be hung. So 
They're just kind of wipe them off and that. The windows all appear grossly to be crooked because of the way an old house is. However, we changed the mortar, we changed the, the trim uh, to get rid of as much as we could in that process because uh, people would look at them and think they were really not in the right place, but now they have the appearance that's necessary to give them the appeal that's there. So, we still have uh, no decision on which cart that we're going to use for the master bedroom. Um, the bathroom here is one that was kind of left to be original. This handrail had to be moved out with, I had to get creative to get so I could have proper code appliance operation. An old cabinet here for water, um, kind of unique. Um, just a very old bathroom and then it's deal we're down to just cleaning things so that's pretty much where we're at on on that this is the master and uh, wasn't a lot of changes involved in it so there's no carpet down yet so can't go hold that against me um, this was kind of like a, a room that was pretty much just paint and then modify a few of these panels were missing uh, once the new windows were installed, so those had to be made. Um, a couple little doors and they had to be redone. Uh, this door had to be, had to find an old scenario here again to hook up to to make it a four panel white. And then, you know, new hardware for the doors. Uh, there's still a, a closet build on each side of this that um, is out there in the works so that's where we're at um real quick on how to take something that was a pile of ash and getting ready to be torn down and then all of a sudden they said they had to have the right person to get in here and do all the structural because all the lentils windows and doors was wood so they burned up so i had to recreate those out of steel and do the masonry work to achieve that but it happened and everything passed and uh, everything's in the right direction. So originality, uh, you got something now. It's here. I mean, totally here. Updates for updates that make sense. Um, hey, hope you watch this because if uh, uh, a sort of restoration, something that comes along and you need some help with, whether it be on site or consult, uh, get a hold of us. We'll be glad to help you through it. Thanks for your time.